Hello everybody, Mark here. Today I'm going to be having a, a burger. Now it's uh, it's going to be a, a, a frozen burger. It's not one of my homemade burgers that I've had before. Uh, I've actually put in th three different meats together and mushed it all up, mainly on burgers. That's in the that, that's what I've done in the past. This one I can't be bothered, so I'm going to be uh, using. There you go. It's the co-op four quarter pounders with onion. There we go. Um, Going to have uh, one of those on just a regular sesame seed bun with bacon. Um, let's see, eight, seven, seven slices in this. This is smoked rindless bacon. Uh, <coughs> I normally get smoked, you know, it, it, it's a little bit, I find it a little bit more flavoursome. I'm going to put, put in a, <coughs> boy, excuse me, I'm going to put on a slice of cheese on there. And if, uh, I don't know yet, I'm sort of thinking I might put one of these sliced up gherkins in there. Perhaps. Uh, it's going to be pretty solid burger though, but maybe put one of those in. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do these in the air fryer. So uh, let me see. I, I think I, it says in there I've got to cook it for 25, 25 to 27 minutes in the air fryer or in a fan. So I'll put this in for 10 minutes. Then I'll add the bacon and then hopefully they'll both be finished together. There we are. One burger. I'm going to put it in for 180 for... 10 minutes, tell you what, I'll put it in for, I'll put it in for 15 minutes. Okay, so when that's done, I'll put the bacon in, because the bacon will take approximately 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, that's right, and, and that's how we uh, get them both to sort of stagger the times, so they both finish together. And then, uh, right, the, uh, what I've got, I've got two buns, I'm going to make two burgers, but only one at a time. So, uh, bloody tripe on. All right. Okay, so, yeah, I've got two, uh, two of these together. I'm going to leave them out for a few minutes. Hopefully they're going to defrost. They're pretty, uh, they're starting to get a bit soft now. Okay, and then uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them under the grill so they'll brown off and uh, they'll be toasted. Next step, I've put the two, right, the, the burger's been done for about 15 minutes. I've put two bits of bacon in there, and I'm going to put the whole lot back in for another ten, which will mean the uh, which will mean the hot which will mean the burger's been there for about sort of fifteen or so by then, and the bacon will be on for ten, so that's all it that takes. Right, I'm going to be cutting up the gherkin into slices, and uh, I've got the bun here. I've cut it in; it's still pretty solid, but I've cut it in half. Uh, I'll put that in the grill to brown. Uh, shortly, it, you know, near the near the time. Uh, I might even put. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to do these at an angle here. Yeah, what is it? There you go. You can either do them in little coin shaped slices or long ways. I'm doing these at an angle. There you go. Just as a point of interest. There you go. So they're sort of um, you know like that. They'll cover the burger nicely. Because I want to, I'm going to do this burger, and I'm going to do one after. So I'm gonna, I'll use one gherkin for the two. Uh, that'd be that'd be plenty. Okay, the next step is to put the cheese onto the. I've toasted the buns. Now I'm going to put one slice of cheese divided between the two halves. Uh, the bacon and the burger is only moments away so I'm gonna uh, put this back under the grill and get this all melted off right the toast is the bread is toasted and the, the uh, cheese is melted there you are I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on each one and then I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard in there just just a smidgen Kind of like what they do in McDonald's there. Okay, uh, let me see. 
one slice of bacon, a few gherkins, there we are. Now, next step's the burger, nice and brown. Put that on the top. Okay. Uh, another couple of gherkins. The other bit of bacon. And then the top. Now, what I'll do before I put the top on, and I'm going to have to flatten it down. Okay, I'll just uh, show you that. There you go. Toasted bun, bit of cheese, ketchup, mustard, bacon, gherkin, burger, gherkin, bacon, and then cheese, ketchup, mustard on the top of the bun. There you go. That's what that looks like. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is to flatten it down so it can be eaten. Uh, I'm going to cut this in half, actually. There you go. Tell you what, that mustard smells good. Mm. There you go. Alright, that's what it looks like on the inside. Very nice. Okay. And here we go. I'm going to give it the taste test. Mm. Very nice. The mustard really works with the burger. This is a really nice mustard. This is um, French's yellow mustard. Got it from a co-op for a quid. Now, I think they're doing a special. But... It really does work with the burger and the bacon. The gherkins, of course, <coughs> very nice, gives it a crunch. Mm. Toasting the bun really does work. And also, I've said it before, that uh, melting, no, that, that co-op cheese, melting that cheese, is a whole lot better than eating it while it's not melted. I've tried it both ways and uh, melting is the way to go. But yeah, there you go. That's what that looks like. It's a very good burger. The burger is really good quality. Well, at least it tastes like good quality. Um, you know, but bad eat with the bacon. Very nice. All right, well, there you go. So that's, a, that's kind of a review on the co-op's own brand burgers. In fact, everything was from the co-op, I think. Co-op burgers, co-op bacon, co-op buns. The gherkins I got from Costco. Um, co-op's own ketchup. And the mustard's not co-op's, but I bought it from co-op, so, you know. There you go. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to come over here, do the usual over there, and... Thank you for watching.